Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Blender tutorial. Today, we're going to dive into the world of festive 3D modeling as we create an adorable gingerbread man. So, let's get started. First, adding a simple circle to our workspace. To make our editing process smoother, set the circle's vertex count to 12. Now, select the vertices of the circle, press X, and choose Delete Vertices. Let's add a mirror modifier. This will mirror our changes. Select the vertices and press E to extrude. Before we proceed further, apply the mirror modifier. Press M and select at center. This allows us to merge the mirrored vertices. Highlight the edges that need a bit of finesse and use Shift plus Ctrl plus V to add subtle curves to our gingerbread shape. Select the entire gingerbread man by pressing A and fill the shape using F. Add some dimension by pressing I to inset. This step enhances the details of our gingerbread man. Pressing A and press E to extrude. Smooth things out with Ctrl plus 2 to add a subdivision surface modifier. This brings a delightful level of smoothness to our creation. Enhance the geometry by selecting the faces and using triangulate faces. This helps fix any potential issues and ensures a smoother result. Then right click and select Shade Smooth. Now, it's time for the fun part, decoration. Press Shift plus A, go to the mesh, and select UV Sphere. This will serve as our gingerbread man's eye. Scale the sphere by pressing S. Then smooth out its appearance by right-clicking and selecting the shade smooth. Use G to move the eye into position. To ensure symmetry, apply the mirror modifier to the eye. Duplicate by pressing a shift plus D. To add a smile, we'll use a curve. Press shift plus A, go to a curve, and select path. Adjust the depth according to your preference and make sure to select the Fill Caps option. This will define the shape of our gingerbread man's smile. Right click and choose Subdivide to add more detail. Let's start by adding a new material to our gingerbread man. Switch over to the shading workspace to dive into the material editor. Bring in some texture by adding a noise texture. Press shift plus A and select a noise texture. 
Press Ctrl plus T to add texture coordinate mapping. If this doesn't work, ensure that the Node Wrangler add-on is activated in Blender. Adjust the Enoise Scale value to 30 for the desired texture density. Fine-tune the appearance by setting the detail value to 4 and the roughness to 0.4. Enhance the surface details by adding a the bump in node. Press the Shift plus A and select Bump. Press the Shift plus A and select Color Ramp. Duplicate the Color Ramp node by pressing the Shift plus D. Set the bump height value to 0.12 to control the height of the surface details. Let's add more color. Include black, white, and red. Set the roughness of each color to 0.2 for a shinier appearance. Press the numpad 0 key to switch to the camera view. Set the resolution to 1080 by 1080. Switch to orthographic view for a precise and flat rendering perspective. Rotate the gingerbread man by pressing R followed by 90 to orient it. Select the axis for rotation. Press Shift plus A and select Plane. Deselect any selected elements by holding Ctrl and clicking the left mouse button. Duplicate the gingerbread man by pressing a shift plus D. Now you have two delightful characters ready for your scene.
switch to Cycles Render for enhanced rendering capabilities and realistic lighting effects. Set the render samples to 500 for a high quality and detailed render. Let's add a touch of medium high contrast. Set the exposure to 0.2 for the desired brightness level. Set the background color to a light shade for a bright and visually appealing scene. Let's add an arena light by pressing Shift plus A, set the strength to 400 and choose a bright color for effective illumination. Increase the size of the light, then change the shape to a disc. Afterward, duplicate it and position two more lights, thus creating a three-point lighting setup. Choose a color for the background. Thank you for joining me on this sweet journey as we brought our gingerbread men to life in Blender. I hope you enjoyed creating these festive characters. Remember, the magic doesn't stop here, feel free to customize, decorate, and make these gingerbread men uniquely yours. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more exciting Blender adventures. Happy blending, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Cheers!